Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Insomniac Scott Selections here for Tuesday, October 29th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in the NFL with Chris Boswell over one and a half field goals and minus 125 on bet MGM. Never in doubt, really could not have been much easier. Boswell ended up kicking two field goals in the first quarter, finished with four. Pittsburgh is able to move the ball, still not great in the red zone, and as a result, had to settle for a couple field goals. Nice win there. Look for the winner here on Tuesday. For the next play, the reminder once again, the more plays on our website, check our website, you use the promo code WEH4US25 to get a 25% discount. Results in the description. Plus, a reminder hit the like button so Scott the Bell is going to notify there was an episode. And for the extra play, going to the baseball card, game four of the World Series between the Dodgers and the Yankees. And for this game, going to go with the dog here, going to go with the Dodgers money line at plus 120 on ESPN bet. Time recording of 1 a.m. Eastern time. Coverage are going to go with the Dodgers money line in this game. First reason, the line is very disrespectful. In fact, you could, you could actually argue that the Yankees shouldn't be favored at all. Dodgers have been dominant so far in the series. Yes, they came back and they won game one with that grand slam. But since then, they have owned the Yankees as they have been winning every game by multiple runs. The Dodgers, including the game one walk-off grand slam, have won each of the first three games in the series by at least two runs. And on top of that, the Dodgers offensively have been great for a couple weeks in a row as the Dodgers have scored at least four runs in seven straight games, including the last four games in the NLCS against the Mets. The Yankees, though, can hit. They've scored less than four runs in all three games of the series. And if you factor in the last two games, they had one run and one hit in the first eight innings against the Dodgers in game two. Then they came out and had no runs until two outs in the ninth inning. So the Yankees offensively have completely shut down, and the Dodgers pitching staff has been really phenomenal. No way around it. We saw Bueller shut down the Yankees, and the bullpen came in. The Dodgers, though, did a good job of not using the high leverage guys for game three. They saved them for game four. The Yankees, though, have a really weird pitching scenario going on, because in addition to not hitting, they also burned the entire bullpen, basically, in game three, despite trailing every single inning by multiple runs. The Yankees used seven relievers yesterday after pulling Schmidt, and you're looking at them once again using a lot of key contributors. They use Weaver in the ninth inning. Didn't have to pitch many, I'd say, pitches, but the point is he was still used. They used Canely. They used Holmes. They used everybody, and I don't know why. I feel like it was a really dumb decision by Boone, but the point is the Yankees can't hit and a lot of their relievers were used. That could be concerning for the Yankees in this game. But for the actual starter, you have heel pitching, who's been pretty inactive lately. He did pitch in game four of the ALCS. He was decent, four innings, two runs. However, that's the only outing he's made since September 28th. He's pitched one time in a month, and now he has to pitch in an elimination game, and the Yankees burned pretty much the entire bullpen in game three. They're going to reuse some guys, don't get me wrong, but I thought the handling of the bullpen was an absolute joke by Boone and the Yankees in game three. And it might come back to bite them here in game four. Simply put, though, why are the Yankees favored in this game? They were favored in game three. It was a must-win game. Now it's officially a must-win game because if they lose, they're eliminated. But we already know that teams don't typically come back from 3-0 down unless you're the Red Sox in 4 Point is, game three was a must-win game, and the Yankees still no-showed it. They were minus 145. Now they're favored again. This seems not very good. I feel like we've all kind of realized as the, as the series has played out that the American League was a joke and beating the Guardians and the Royals really did not, I'd say, showcase just how bad this team actually is. And the Yankees were pretty fortunate to get a pretty lucky, or I should say favorable year in the AL because no other teams were any good. So the Yankees, I thought, had a pretty favorable draw to the World Series. The Dodgers had to fight against the Padres. They had to fight against the Mets. A couple good teams, but I think we've agreed at this point there is definitely a talent disparity between these two teams. The Dodgers are hitting, they're pitching, and the Yankees really haven't really haven't really done anything for the course of the series. Give me the Yankees to lose again at plus money. I think the price is insane. Give me the value here with the dogs. Well, once again, here for Tuesday, October 29th, it's going to be the Dodgers money line at plus 120 on ESPN bet. Bye, everyone.